After two weeks of exploring the Abacos, we say goodbye to Joe and Lori, then welcome our new crew aboard. We cross to Spanish Wells, which quickly becomes one of our favorite destinations in the Bahamas. Say? Yeah, it's too early. It's, I don't know, it's about a uh, quarter of six, something like that in the morning. We're getting ready to do a uh, 10 hour run to Nassau. So we got the engines running, as you can hear, they're warming up. We're about to pull the anchor. Uh, sun is just coming up, and we're heading outside for the first time uh, in a couple of weeks. So see you along the way. Roger out. That it can insist, assist. Yeah, he can assist. Okay. Bring it to the dock. Okay. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I did if I can get enough light in here. When we were at sea, uh, as you've noticed, as you may know from watching some of our previous videos, we've been having a problem with our aft fuel tank. Uh, it, the fuel needs to be polished. There's just algae and junk in it or something. It keeps getting clogged on us. And um, well, it happened this time. We we're crossing over from the Abacos here to Nassau, and it was clogging up. So we had to switch everything over to the forward tank. Not a big deal, except I didn't really have enough fuel in the forward tank to get us all the way from Little Harbor over to Nassau. So what I did while underway is I kind of rigged up a system to move the fuel from one tank to the other. And what I did, I can try and show you over here, is where our rake cores are. I tapped the line off our rake cores, and I, you can see this little rubber hose here, and I ran it to this, um, let's see if I can get it in the picture here. Um, I ran it to this, it's, it's a lift pump, but I'm using it as like just a you know, fuel transfer pump, and I, you see the other line coming out of that, I ran into the fuel tank line right over here. Uh, which I took off the valve there. Now since um, that is the forward fuel tank, so I'm taking basically fuel from the port engine and uh, rake cores and running it over and using that stepper motor to transfer it into the forward tank this way. And as you can see, I have the actual switch for that motor set to aft. That way, when it, it, the, um, it's sucking it through here, basically, through the rake cores, 
and then back around and back into the forward tank. So and that enabled me to move it from one tank to the other, but also kind of polish it on the way because it's still running through Raycors. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that for a while just to polish this fuel up, get it into the other tank, and then I am either going to continue polishing myself or I am going to maybe see if I can find a service to come out here and polish the fuel. And over the next couple of days, I am also uh, planning to uh, just clean everything out, just, you know, open up the valves, you know, blow them out with air, just try and make sure everything's right, because I don't want to go through this aggravation on the rest of the trip dealing with this dirty fuel, you know, slowing us down. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I'm able to do this, take it off the ray cores, and why my star or my port engine is still running, it's because we're still having a fuel pump problem over there, and we're running it from the fuel pump on the starboard engine. I'm having supply both engines, and that's why I wasn't using those ray cores. And so that's another thing we got to get fixed while we're here in NASA. I got to try and find a mechanic to change that fuel pump because I really don't want to be running both engines off one the whole trip. I will if I have to, but I don't want to. First morning in Nassau. Woohoo! Everybody's still sleeping. Um, today, Joe and Lori leave. We had such a fun time with them and very exciting times with them that we'll be talking about for a long time. Um, anyway. Let's see what today brings. We got a lot to do on our list to get ready and we got new crew coming. So, good morning everyone. After two weeks of crazy fun, we say goodbye to our friends Joe and Lori. Welcome our new crew members, Craig and Kristen, then head over to Paradise Island to get acquainted. Okay, so it's our third and final day here in Nassau, and uh, we've got just about all the stuff done on the boat that we wanted to get done. Got the fuel pump changed, changed all the ray cores, just went over everything yeah. to make sure everything's good for the next leg of the trip. And we're going to go out now and provision again. Last time we provisioned was a couple of weeks ago over in uh, Florida. and. We're at Yacht Haven Marina now, and we're only about two blocks away from a supermarket. Yes. So we're going to head on down there and pick up uh, whatever things that we think we'll need between here and Georgetown. Come on. Roger out.
Well, we are finally on our way to Spanish Wells. We left Nassau about an hour, two hours ago. And uh, we spent, I guess it was four nights over at Yacht Haven Marina, uh, which is where we usually stay. And uh, we had did some work on the boat. We got a guy out to change that uh, fuel, fill, uh, fuel pump. And that did wonders. In fact, I don't even have to um, prime the, the engines anymore. Um, so I, I think that was the problem I've had for the last five years. Right now it's running fantastic, uh, no problems at all. Uh, we dropped off our, uh, our crew, Lori and Joe. Guys, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun. And we picked up our new crew over here, <laughs> Craig and Kristen, who we're not expecting to be filmed right now. but <laughs> So the four of us are heading over to uh, Spanish Wells. We're going to spend a couple of nights at Spanish Wells Yacht Haven, I believe it's what it's called. And then we're just going to head down to Eleuthera and Cat Island and yeah, well, just see where the uh, wind and the currents take us. So we'll see you along the way. Roger out. How's the water work here? On a meter. On a meter? Okay. And what is it a gal? 50 cents. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what fenders do you want? These ones? Um, I guess just uh, one or two of the fat boys. The fat boys? Yeah. <laughs> so we are here in Spanish Wells at Spanish Wells Yacht Haven Marina. All of us are here. We made it. No one fell off the boat, so that's all. That's that's always a plus. <laughs> and we're about to go out. There's a restaurant here. What's it called? Uh, you guys know the name? Wreckers or something? Wreckers. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go out to Wreckers. It's raining. Uh, it was a pretty easy in actually. It's very well protected here. There was a little bit of wind, but it was no big deal. So uh, we're happy. Yep. We're going to go have some fun. It's rainy, so we're just going to stay local, and then we're here for a couple days, so we're going to go explore the island tomorrow. Arg. 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 <laughs> Arg. <laughs> golf cart that we just rented, Yacht Haven Marina, right in the office there, 50 bucks a day, and we're going to go exploring the island. <laughs> 